Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. Two years of COVID restrictions are set to be lifted in England. Restrictions have also been lifted in parts of Europe and the US. Canadian police threatened to arrest lorry drivers who shut down central Ottawa as anger at mandatory COVID vaccines spreads. Protests spread across India and beyond its borders against a ban on the Muslim headscarf in some colleges in one southern state. Two, one, zero. And scientists in Britain make a major new advance in the quest to generate energy from nuclear fusion. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. It's 7 in the morning in Singapore and 11 p.m. in England, where the remaining COVID restrictions are now set to be lifted at the end of this month, four weeks earlier than previously planned. The shortened timescale was announced by Boris Johnson, who said it depended on the current downward trend continuing, but that he fully expected that to be the case. It would end the rule that anyone testing positive for COVID or showing symptoms should self-isolate. Restrictions have also been lifted in parts of Europe and the US. More on that in just a minute. But first, our health editor, Hugh Pym, has this report 